Jess, good afternoon to you. Some late breaking developments right now. Kathleen Kane just walked by us here about five minutes ago. The jury has returned after only an hour of deliberating. They have a question. No idea right now exactly what it is they are seeking some clarity to, but they have only been out an hour. Today, fireworks for closing arguments. The prosecution painting Kathleen Kane as a woman who was on the war path seeking revenge. Meanwhile, her defense team firing back saying she may have the title attorney general, but today she sits here as Kathleen Kane from Scranton. Just moments after the jury got the case, Kathleen Kane speaks exclusively with CBS 3. Mrs. Kane, how do you feel? Mrs. Kane, are you confident? Good. Thank you. Confident? Yes. Attorneys for Kathleen Kane would have you believe the wrong person is on trial here. Her lawyer seized on what he says were lies coming from two key witnesses who testified against Kane. Josh Morrow and Adrian King were shown to have played central roles in how Kane allegedly leaked secret grand jury material in 2014 to a Daily News reporter. Neither man is charged. Kane's lawyer telling the jury, quote, I'll submit you wouldn't even buy a used car from either one of them. That leaked information allegedly spread by Kane and her operatives smeared the reputation of the late Jerry Mondesire, once head of the local NAACP. It was the start of Kane's troubles. Prosecutors say she was scheming for revenge after an article critical of her handling of an investigation was published. In his closing argument, District Attorney Kevin Steele, at times his voice thundering, told the jury, quote, this is war. This is one that comes from the motivation of revenge. Marching orders were there. The bad blood was there. Efforts were made to go on the offensive. It's alleged Kane then lied on the stand about the grand jury leak. Outside the courthouse, political activist Gene Stilp and what he called his prop perp walk of Kathleen Kane. Little handcuffs, a little orange jumpsuit, and uh, we'll go from there. So it's my statement about where she belongs. She belongs in an orange jumpsuit at the Department of Corrections here. And back live, that outcome, of course, remains to be seen. Once again, breaking right now, the jury is back with a question. We are going to get back inside to see what it is they are up to and what they are asking. But prosecutors all allege that this has been conspiracy. Of course, what remains to be seen is how this will play out for Kathleen Kane. Live in Norristown, Joe Holden, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.